Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo ThinkPad E16. This is gonna be the Gen 2 Intel version. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your storage. So first thing, power down your computer through the start menu, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access the bottom case screws. This video is laid out like an owner manual or an instruction manual, and I'll guide you through the process of accessing your components. There are seven captive screws in this bottom case. Captive screws means that you'll unscrew them fully, but they won't actually come out of the case. The case may rise up a little in the corners, but the screws themselves will stay in. So don't worry if the screws are not coming out. After unscrewing all seven screws, you're gonna take a small, flat, plastic pry tool and insert it at the seam of the bottom case in the computer near one of the back two corners. After lifting it up slightly from one of those two corners, you'll be able to proceed down here with another pry tool and get this section off and then start unclipping the rest of the bottom case. Once you do, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any assistance with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, the E16, there will be a link above, also below in the description, and it will be a list of all the tools and supplies that I use, as well as all those replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. Now before touching anything in a computer, it's always best to unplug your battery first. A computer is safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. This is your battery right down here. It's held down by these three screws near the red arrows, and it plugs into the motherboard here near the green arrow. To unplug it, you would simply pull it to the left out of that motherboard port. Keep in mind with any wires or cables in a computer, try to apply pressure to the wires as little as possible try just to grip the plug in the port. You don't wanna pull the wires right out of the plug or damage it. As far as storage, you have two different M.2 ports here. Many of you will have this one that takes the large 2280 size, you'll have that empty, and you'll have a smaller 2242 drive in this M.2 port here, held down by a single screw on the right. Now this maxes out at one terabyte, that's about the size many of you will have, this port also maxes out at one terabyte. So below in the description in that link I told you about with all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer, I will include a small 2242 one terabyte drive if you need to replace this. And I will also have two different options for the larger 2280 solid state drives that go here. Uh, one will be a little faster, a little more powerful. Uh, the other will be very adequate to upgrade this if you want that extra one terabyte solid state drive upgrade. As a side note, if you would like to learn more about the differences between various kinds of solid state drives and hard drives and how one may be better for a certain use, I will have a video link above, also below in the description, and it will be a quick introduction on the differences between those different kinds of storage devices. I guess I can also mention if you are replacing or installing a new drive in your computer, you most likely are gonna to have to install an operating system onto it afterwards. I will have two links below in the description. One will show you how to install Windows 10. The other will show you how to install Windows 11. And as another shout out about this operation, if you are replacing your drive because it's gone bad and there's data on it that you want to recover, keep in mind that data recovery on bad drives is usually possible in most cases. I will have more information about the data recovery below in the description. And if you want information on how to replace and upgrade your RAM here, your memory, which is another large part of your computer's speed and performance ability, watch the video at the end of this one. It'll show you how to replace your memory. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside your ThinkPad A16 and access your storage. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just wanna keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions, I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. 
Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.